Enigma is an extremely well-designed machine. Our problem is that we're only using men to try to beat it. Now, what if only a machine can defeat another machine? It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Jane Pauley. He's been a sleuth, a scientist, and a superhero. But Benedict Cumberbatch's latest role required a brand new skill set. He's in conversation with our Tracy Smith. 25 years since our first run together. 1900 and nothing. That's a long time. Well, not too damn long. In the new Netflix film, The Power of the Dog, Benedict Cumberbatch is a cowboy in 1920s Montana who can ride, rope, and roll a smoke with the best of them. I wonder what little lady made these. Actually, I did, sir. My mother was a florist, so I made them to look like the ones in our garden. Oh, well, do pardon me. They're just as real as possible. He's also a world-class bully who seems to take delight in tormenting some of those around him. Ah, uh, now, gentlemen, look, see, that's what you do with the cloth. It's really just for wine drips. Oh, got that, boys. Only for the drip. <laughs> the movie is both a searing psychological drama and a meditation on toxic masculinity. On the set, and with director Jane Campion's encouragement, Cumberbatch also dug deep into what it meant to be a real working cowboy. And did you fully embrace it in that you did not shower? Yeah. I mean, not for the whole shoot. That would be kind of dangerous, I think. <laughs> I might have become a biohazard. But I did for, for a whole week and a bit at the beginning of the, uh, of the shoot, um, at the beginning of the rehearsals, rather, I did, yeah. I was, for more I was, than a week? Yeah. That's quite something in the 21st century to just not wash. You had to learn so many different skills. I mean, a ludicrous number of skills. And l l For the record, the 45-year-old actor cleans up pretty well. Uh, can you whistle? I can, he says with a bit of an in-breath. Um, <laughs> that kind of oh, thing. Oh, that's pretty good. But I tried to do it and there's talk he might also clean up at next year's Oscars, which is no surprise to anyone who's seen him on screens big or small. Shut up, everybody, shut up. Don't move, don't speak, don't breathe. I'm trying to think. I'm this is how the wider world came to know Benedict Cumberbatch, the 2010 BBC series Sherlock. You went from working actor to famous actor yes. in a span of, what, 90 minutes, basically? Yeah, yeah. it was like a sort of 12-year uh, overnight success in 90 minutes. You're wearing lipstick. You weren't wearing lipstick before. I, uh... I refreshed it a bit. Sorry, you were saying? I was wondering if you'd like to have coffee. Black, two sugars, please. I'll be upstairs. But it seems that he'd been waiting for it all his life. Born to a pair of working actors, young Benedict considered law school for a moment before following his parents onto the stage. They gave me a very securing upbringing and offered me every opportunity with my education, with their upbringing of me, through love and a lot of resources, to give me the choice to do anything but be an actor, to do something a little bit more secure, less peripatetic. And I threw it all back in their face by becoming an actor. <laughs> well, I've never been a man of many words. And there's nothing I could say that you haven't heard. He has managed to make them proud, and they let him know it early on. And there was just one moment in a car park after I'd played Salieri in uh, Amadeus at, at, for, at university. Um, Dad sort of got hold of my shoulders. He went, look, you're better at this than I ever was or ever will be. And I support you and I can't wait to see what you do. I mean, yeah, every time I say that, I, say, I get a lump in my throat. It's such a huge thing for a man to say to his son or for any parent to say to any child. And just to give that level of blessing, that egoless, love it, it, it floored me and um 
that and making both of them proud really is a sort of essential ingredient to what motivates me day to day. I'm designing a machine that will allow us to break every message every day instantly. Cumberbatch got an Oscar nod for the imitation game as the British mathematician who helped crack the Nazis' secret code. But lately, he's been playing a different kind of hero in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm Dr. Stephen Strange. I need you to come with me. Oh, uh, congratulations on the wedding, by the way. Were you at all apprehensive, just coming from working actors and theater, were you yeah. at all apprehensive about taking on a Marvel role? Um, in what sense? In just the sense that it's it's mainstream comic book entertainment, here, mainstream, populace. exactly, box office. Nope, not at all. Not really. I, I still, <laughs> I still, I still think it needs integrity. It needs someone. It needs someone to be fully invested in trying to make a piece of make believe uh, of here and now of storytelling work in the moment. Do you capture something of the cat? Perhaps because you yourself are an outcast. He's expanded his storytelling powers with a production company. They did this year's film about a Victorian artist who paints cats. But as the father of three small children with wife Sophie Hunter, he says he's more selective about what he takes on. You know, the priorities I have in my life, there's nothing quite like my family in my work life. So whatever work, which is a huge deal, it offers me a great deal of life experience and, and a opportunity. Nothing, as anyone with children knows, compares to that, so. Nothing compares. No, not really. It has to be very, very worthwhile for me to leave home. Sort of a lonesome place out here, Pete. Unless you get in the swing of things. Of course, in acting, as in life, the most worthwhile ventures are often the toughest. Playing a cruel cowboy was both a physical and emotional hill to climb. But Benedict Cumberbatch sees all of it as a gift. You know, the gratitude of being able to do what you do, that you love doing for a living, is just... I still pinch myself about that. Don't tell producers, because they'll probably come to me with lower office, but it's the truth. It's like, it is... It's a... What a gig. What an amazing way to live a life.